Hey guys, this is Tegresa and today I'm to unbox the Amazfit GTS 2 Mini. So this is the box that I received from Amazon and uh, let's flip it. So let's quickly unbox it and let's see what do we get inside the box and how the watch actually feels like. And I bought this watch specifically after a long research as well as a comparisons. So I'll let you know in this video why I bought this watch. So let's quickly unbox this watch first and then we will uh, talk about what are the features and what is the main feature which made me buy this watch. So I have opened the box. So we get uh, the watch and a bill. So as you can see, a Misfit GTS 2 Mini. Nothing else. So let's keep it aside. So as you can see, this is the box and a Misfit GTS 2 Mini written uh, on the box. If you talk about the pricing at the back side of the box, it's 9999 but you can get it pretty cheaply and it's December 2020 unit. So this is the latest one. So let's quickly unbox this and see what do we get inside. So let us first uh, break down the seal. And uh, we have opened the box and a very good uh, box as you can see now we have a shiny uh, surface on the box and we do have few features mentioned over at the left and right side. So let's quickly take it out from the box and see what do we get inside. So pretty good packaging as you can see. So it's an opening box. Uh, so I guess this one contains the documentation. So yeah, a uh, big hefty leaflet as you can see. So we can just uh, uh, read it or I don't need it. And here we have a small box and we have our watch here. So let's keep it aside for a time being. And this is another compartment. I guess this one contains the charger. Okay, so this one is the charger. Nothing else inside this box. So let's keep it aside. So this is the charger. So let's quickly open this uh, charging cable. And so we do have a tag over here. So let's quickly break this seal. And uh, this one is the charging cradle, I guess. Yeah. So we do have a USB type A to a charging cradle. So this is the one on which the watch will be mounted and this one can go to any of your USB uh, adapters. So pretty good thing. Make sure you don't lose this because if you lose this, uh, you are in a very good trouble. So let's quickly take the watch out from packaging and initially the packaging was pretty good. I was quite happy with the packaging. So let's quickly open this and take our watch out. So this is the watch. And I bought this uh, in a black color and you can get this in various different colors such as green and pink. Initial impressions, the watch looks so good. As you can see, it looks so premium. We do have a good uh, metallic body at the top and bottom we have few sensors and the uh, bottom body is of plastic. Initially, the watch looks so nice and if you put it on my wrist, as you can see, and my wrist size is about small to medium and it looks perfectly fine on my wrist as you can see it doesn't look very big as well as very small so that's pretty good thing so let's quickly boot this watch and see uh, how to set it up so guys this is my phone so let's quickly try to boot this watch up and until the watch boots uh, we, uh, we need to install uh, an app from uh, uh, the play store and it's booted i guess so let's quickly download the app and app name is zep so guys, I have downloaded the app and let's try to add this watch or pair this watch with this phone. So click on the plus button, then watch. And it's now asking me to scan the QR code. So yeah, our watch is ready. So let's try to scan the QR code. Allow. Okay, it paired immediately. So let's quickly wait for a while in order uh, until the watch gets paired. Okay, so the watch gave me haptic feedback and it's asking me to accept the pairing request. Yes. Okay, so it's pairing with the phone. Found successfully and watch is set up. As you can see initial, this is the home screen and it looks so good as you can see so heart rate monitoring at the back side and it looks quite nice and first time uh, it's very good okay so this is the heart rate scanning and uh, i guess there is a system update available so i'll just simply let it uh, update the system Okay, the system update is completing soon so it's updated as you can see so okay it booted 
so yeah, it's completely booted uh, so yeah, as you can see initially no new notifications and from top we have this uh, uh, quick toggles so here we have our brightness so we can manually adjust the brightness from here and good goes quite bright as you can see it has a peak brightness of 450 nits uh, so i'll check it out if it is worth in the outside uh, light uh, here in, in the room lighting it's completely fine i am completely visible so the watch is completely visible inside the room and we do have the auto brightness sensor so it will adjust the brightness according to the env ambient environment so that's pretty nice thing okay and uh, initially the watch looks quite nice as you can see this is the audio control so yeah guys i will just use this watch for a couple of days and then i will complete this video so i'll resume this video after using this watch for a few days three days later so guys i am back after using this watch for now about three days so uh, almost three days i have been using this watch so i have thoroughly tested all these features including the sleep tracking heart rate monitoring and spo2 and all the features which are available in this watch uh, but first of all let me tell you the reason why i bought this one over the other watches which are available in this price range the main reason is this display so it has a 1.5 inch amoled display and this is the only watch which is uh, providing you the amoled display rest every rest every other watch is providing you the ips lcd display almost lcd displays only so this is the one um, at this particular price is providing the amoled display and trust me guys the display quality is so good or it's so phenomenal it looks so good when you wear it on your hand the display looks so crisp and clear and as you can see uh, we do have a, a different type of layout and uh, actually i don't know the actual uh, operating system which is running on this watch but i think it is like uh, the android based operating system from this uh, battery symbol and uh, other stuffs so it feels like it's running on the stock android like uh, and the os is very smooth and if you talk about the ui it's very good and it's very easy to use as well uh, so if you are uh, simply wearing this watch for about 2 to 3 hours you will easily get used to all the gestures and all the functionalities which are available on the watch now if you talk about the construction of the watch uh, the top or the top part of the watch is constructed using a metal so the uh, dial button and the top uh, surface uh, is made up of metal the bottom part which includes the sensor as well as the docking connector is made out of plastic and the plastic quality is also good so and uh, i have been using this watch nakedly so and quite roughly but no scratches as of now within three days of usage and the strap quality is also pretty good uh, i have been wearing this watch for about 24 hours completely and i didn't find any irritation or issue on my hand so no uh, problems as such as of now uh, if there are any i will update it in description below in the near future and the strap quality is pretty good it's made out of rubber and uh, very uh, comfortable and let me just wear you wear and show it to you guys so guys the watch is on my hand as you can see and uh, before wearing make sure that you wear it below your wrist because if you wear it over here the slip tracking then heart rate monitoring and uh, spo2 won't work so you have to wear it below your wrist in order to uh, in order for these things to work and uh, the ui is very similar as you can see if we uh, pull down from the top side we get the quick toggles so we have a do not disturb alarm clock then we do have the brightness over here and trust me guys the brightness levels are pretty good uh, it's about 450 nits i am not exactly sure about the brightness uh, peak but uh, it uh, it gets the job done even if you are in a bright sunny day uh, you can easily see the display without any issues and we do have the auto brightness sensor as you can see so it will dynamically adjust the brightness according to the uh, environment around so i will just simply disable it for now then uh, we do have the settings over here so the ui is very good i just like the ui how it uh, the animation uh, goes from left to right and the scrolling is also quite smooth so i just like this one so for sure let me show you how you can shut this watch down because uh, there is no other option so we have to simply go to settings then system if you scroll down we have two options restart and shut down so here here from here you can uh, turn on, on the watch or shut down the watch if we talk about all the settings or all the features which are available in the settings so first of all we have the watch face so by default there are four watch faces which are enabled or pre-installed on this uh, watch and rest everything can be controlled using your phone or the zap app which you have to install on the phone so we can simply uh, change uh, any of the watch faces from here so simply tap on it and it will get uh, select it will select that watch face 
so let me go to settings again then we have the screen off watch face so this is basically the always on display so i have disabled it so let me enable it okay so i have enabled it uh, and if you want to simply lock the watch you have to simply place your palm and it will lock the watch as you can see uh, this is the always on display let me increase the brightness So as you can see, this is the uh, analog uh, watch face. So you can also set to digital. So it will always show this uh, dial uh, unless and until your device watch is wake up. As you can see, it will wake up. So you have to unlock this using this button because I have set uh, it to the lock. Uh, so let's quickly again go to settings. Then we have the auto screen off. So I was talking about this feature. So the watch will automatically lock within the given timer. So that's uh, how it is. Then screen lock settings. So enable screen lock so this is the feature so unless and until you press this button the uh, gestures won't work uh, when you uh, wake when you wake the watch so we have to always unlock this uh, watch in order to work with it then lift up on display so whenever you lift our wrist it will unlock the uh, it will lit or it will wake the watch then we have the lift up on notification so whenever notification comes the screen will uh, lit up then we have some preferences now we can change these settings manually according to our needs and requirements so we can just tinker out with it so that's it from the settings now I have the default I haven't changed the default layout so this is the default watch face uh, it has all the necessary things such as the watch uh, then the battery percentage and uh, things like that if we swipe left we have the activity goals so it will simply show you show us how far we have reached for today's goals if we swipe left we have the heart rate monitoring and it does have the active heart rate monitoring so it will monitor your heartbeats uh, at an interval of 10 minutes you can change that interval from the settings so it is act it has active heart rate monitoring then we do have the spo2 so currently showing 100 uh, percent actually the accuracy is quite good uh, the 100 percent is the i don't know if it might be 100 percent right now then we do have the stress level so currently it's 83 <laughs> so i am under high stress nothing like that then we have the PAI, so this is the feature from uh, Amazfit itself, so it has basically uh, related to your health and other uh, things, so it will cum cumulatively calculate all those values and it will show you uh, an index value which will represent your health conditions. So that's pretty good thing, then we do have the weather over here, so we can simply track our weather from here itself, so it will uh, calculate all these things and this thing is triggered from your phone, so we have to connect your phone in order to use all these things. Then we do have the music controls as well, so currently there is no song, so it's showing nothing over here. So this is how uh, the watch is exa uh, exactly looking like and now talking about the battery life, uh, I have been uh, using this watch now for 3 days, so let me show you the last charge. So as you can see 56% battery health right now and uh, last charge is about 3 days ago. So I charged this watch about 3 days ago completely to 100% and currently it's on 56% with all the default features which are running on the watch with the uh, I have only disabled the always on display because I don't need it but uh, the rest everything such as uh, all the heart rate monitoring everything is enabled and working completely fine. So you can expect about uh, 6 to 7 days of battery life uh, on an average uh, but again the battery will degrade as we charge it because only I have charged it once. So I will just update the description uh, as there are changes in this watch. So this is pretty much it for this video guys. If you found this video really helpful then don't like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for more such videos. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching.